Check out the link below for a blemish removal kit you'll absolutely love. Walking back to Lebanon for a continuation. Eben's wife sleeping there. The daughter. Grandma? Sasa ma'am? Leo me me pika nini? Hmm? Maindi. Ah, nakuja kukula. And then... The little guy who also has is getting afflicted. Can I hold me with Victor? I'm going to be with Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Joseph, who is it? And I know who you are. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be Blessing. Oh, blessing. Sasa? Nafanya nini? Unalima? Oh, she's called blessing. <laughs> she says I'm digging. Unalima nini? Huh? Atu unalima uchafu? Blessing. Nini? Blessing. Huh? Blessing. Okay. So, yeah. There's some beautiful, very healthy maids here. Sometimes it's, we have people who just, you know, they, they adore Africa, they, they just love Africa. And even the vegetation is a delight, you know, everything is just different according to them. I didn't know um, initially that uh, it would interest anybody uh, that we show uh, the vegetation we let the birds chirp in and stop until people said, I just, I, I want to see Jigas die, but I also want to see the surroundings. And so sometimes I've taken my time off to just, you know, show the maze and the trees and the people in some little goofy things and I think that's what makes our whole thing uh, it makes the whole thing unique because we don't like you know shoot in the spirit of journalism so ours is not about information for the sake of consuming the same it's about information for the sake of helping. So while journalism will give you information for education, and that is it, we do information for education, for involvement. So we go a step higher, we go a notch higher than journalism by really inviting people into um, the whole scenario and, and bidding them to be active participants and through that we have given a lot of uh, people an opportunity to be participants in touching lives in Africa and I truly believe that is the essence of our being we are in whatever location we are in because God is expecting us, especially those who believe in God, He is expecting us to be productive. And productivity has nothing to do with ourselves. It has everything to do about our substance flowing into the lives of others who need us, because we are only relevant as human beings. 
as long as we are productive and touching lives that is what makes us relevant but if we are just consumerism uh, consumeristic and uh, fingeristic meaning you're always pointing fingers and um, judgeristic always judging and condemneristic always condemning and of course blameristic always giving out blames then we're not living to our full potential as human beings who have been privileged to be alive and to be a bit comfortable compared to others who had and if you want to know that you're blessed go to a hospital every time I go to a hospital um, or to a graveyard um, I remember that I'm a blessed man so here we are with Laban this is the second day running and yesterday we did one leg so today we are back to wind up with the, the second leg and his hands he has a lot of jiggers even in his fingers and so he is blessed today because we are going to wind up with him and uh, we'll also continue praying for his housing situation we we'll, we are asking for provision that god will provide for us to build him a house we want to do that and you look at the, that that is the door he, it's halfway and there is something else that's flapping it has been put on the roof it comes down and then it it meets that then it forms some cover some form of a door for him uh, really Africa is blessed in that um, with all the nat nat natural hazards the hurricanes and earthquakes and other things we witness in other places Africa is blessed because you can be sure if you have an earthquake even if it's as small as three Richter scale that thing will come down and uh, we are blessed not to have such things here that's why all the weak structures are still being used to house people you find a wall with the, uh, a muddy wall with very loose uh, pebbles and those loose uh, pebbles and stones could fall down and just you know come crashing on somebody with the slightest provocation of an earth tremor but it doesn't because we don't have earth tremors this this makeshift structure would house you forever and, and so uh, we are blessed beyond measure in Africa and uh, I'm thankful for that. I'm really truly thankful for the protection that is divine. Um, upon Africa. So, uh, our brother and friend, Laban. Hey folks, to get rid of blackheads and blemishes the right way, get a Comedone Extractor Kit. This one here is the best we could find. It has a high quality to price ratio. It's got solid steel instruments, a compact case for traveling, and a good variety of tools for all your needs, including a lancet for whiteheads. Using an extractor like this is the easiest and safest method as it reduces the chances of scarring and secondary infection. Use the Amazon link below to get a kit of your very own.